Hi everyone, welcome to the latest blog post that I have. So basically this is going to be something that I came across a little while ago, which was uh, having a collection of IDs or numbers, or it could be text that I've retrieved from somewhere. It could be from querying a list in SharePoint. It could be from querying a database or a web service or something like that. But basically I have a collection of data and what I want to do is remove the duplicates. Now, if you've been using the in-text workflow before and you've found the collection operation action, it already has a remove duplicates. So let's actually jump to this workflow designer and there's a collection operation action right there. And you can see there is a remove duplicates. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to have something like this. You see all these numbers here, one, two, two, three, three, four, five, six, et cetera. What I want to do is remove anything that has a duplicate. So for example, if I was to use the collection operation action on this list of data, I would actually end up uh, with one, two, three, four, five, six. What it would do is actually remove any duplicates, but keep at least one of them. What I want to do is actually remove anything that had duplicates. So you can see I have one, two, two, three, three, four, five. What I actually would want to result with or end up with is one, four, five. I don't want two, I don't want three because there are duplicates, okay? There is a reason for this, but I'm not gonna go into that particular part. So I wanted to build a little bit of workflow logic to be able to do that. So the first thing I want to do is actually just build out this process to see if I could get it to work. Right, so I didn't want to worry about where I'm getting the data from. That's why I use this regular expression action. So in this case, what we're doing is putting in all the data in here. I'm doing a split based on a comma, and the results go into a collection variable called collection of IDs. Just a really kind of simple way of, of splitting up some data and filling up a collection. That's all that is. And we're just logging that to the workflow history. Now what I'm doing is actually using a for each action to iterate through each of those IDs. And I have some other variables that I actually have that I'm going to use throughout this process. So let's actually take a look at those. Let's sort those. So I have my collection of IDs. That's my uh, IDs that I got from that regular expression action. I also have this collection of temporary IDs and a collection of final IDs. And you can see a collection of duplicates and the rest I'm going to use throughout this workflow process. So my temp collection of IDs, I'm going to check if the ID that I have already exists in there, right? If it does, then it's a duplicate, right? And if it is a duplicate, you can see we have a Boolean duplicate exists. We have a check to see if it is, and then we're going to add it to our duplicates uh, collection, duplicate IDs. Perfect. Now this is going to do that part. And then we also have, we're adding the ID to attend that temporary collection of IDs, right? That way, as we go through this iteration of, uh, of original IDs, we can check, have we already come across this particular ID? Are, are there more than one of them? Okay. Now, once we have that, right, so now we have a number of collections. Two main ones that we really need to work with. We have the main collection of IDs. We have a temporary collection of IDs, which we probably don't need anymore. And we have a duplicate collection of IDs that just contains all the IDs that have more than one of them in the original collection. So we're going to iterate through each of the duplicates. And for each one of those, we're going to run another collection operation, modifying the original collection to say, remove by value that ID because there are multiple of them, right? So we are actually removing all the duplicate items. And then we finally have a log action, right? So let's actually come over here. We are going to run this again. You can see I've already run it before, but that's okay. We're going to run this workflow manually. Now, the interesting thing about this is that if this does work, so it's being a little bit slow, this is my local VM, so it's being a little slow, but if this works, 
This could very easily be put into a user-defined action, which I probably will do for this blog post if I, uh, if I get some time. And I could reuse this in any workflow. So let's run this and double check that it actually does what we expect it to do. Okay, now that that workflow has completed, let's have a look at the workflow history. We should see the original collection and also the resulting collection. And there we go, there's our original collection. So for those who don't know, when you actually log a collection variable, it will log all the values in a semicolon delimited manner. So there's our original and here's our resulting collection. You'll notice anything that has a duplicate up here is not in this collection. So two has been removed, three, six, 11, and 14 have all been removed. And we now just have this subset that we're actually really interested in. So I'll put this into a user-defined action. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to find a use for it in, uh, in the future. Thanks for listening in. And if you have any comments, questions, recommendations, please put them at the bottom of the blog post. Thanks for your time.